Welcome to Vernon Renault Master Control. In this episode, uh, we're going to uh, put the new tub in. <laughs> Had you all uh, guessing there, didn't you, as to what was going to happen? Ooh, big suspense. Anyway, yeah, we're going to put uh, the new tub in. And, uh, yeah. Wasn't that enough for you? What more you want? Uh, I probably won't have time to put any comments in uh, on this episode. Uh, just uh, I'm sort of rushing to get it done. Oh, what a surprise! Um, anyway, you'll enjoy it no matter what. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this. Okay. I can't stand this uh, washing in the sink any longer. I'm putting the damn tub in. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Hey, look how long it took me to do my hair. It still looks like shit. Well, it looks like shit most days. Not that I give a shit. Who's going to see it, right? Well, you, but you know. <laughs> there you go. So I've gotten everything as ready as I can. I've cut out the wall even bigger than before to make sure the tub fits in nice and smooth. And I've cleaned up all the edges. Swept up the bottom with all the uh, little bit of mouse poop and their little nest and whatnot. This support bar in the back here, I believe I'm going to have to raise that up. I think it's at a different height than it needs to be. And uh, yeah. Now we just have to carefully bring the tub in and uh, set it in there, measure it, move that support to the proper height, put in the, uh, the safety locks, and uh, Bob's your uncle. For some of you, Bob probably is your uncle. It might even be your brother and your father, too. <laughs> Home sweet home. Make a wood I put in to keep, I don't know, me from falling through. I don't know. <laughs> a safety thing. Look at that. A plank of wood to keep from falling in the hole. Well, let's take that out. Captain, there be holes. So too good to be true. Fits like a glove. I've uh, leveled all the sides. Barely had to do anything. It's all just about perfectly level on all four sides. I've done the measure for the back. The anchor that's in the back is almost exactly the height it needs to be. I'm going to put a couple shims in there. That's all it needs is a couple thin shims. Um, so yeah, that's perfect. Uh, you'll notice that the tub's about, uh, it's, well, maybe you won't notice. Maybe I'll tell you then. It's, uh, about half an inch narrower than, uh, the old tub. Uh, which doesn't really matter, because, I mean, we're going to be, uh, putting tile on the floor in here anyway, so you won't see the part where the linoleum ends and the, uh, and the, uh, plywood is. But uh, the tap now is going to be just about a quarter of an inch off center, maybe an eighth of an inch off center if I do a little wiggling. But other than that, I mean, an eighth of an inch, hell, I'll be happy with that. Anyway, 
Um, just have to pull it back out now. <laughs> After all that trouble of getting it in. I have to pull it back out and install the, uh, the drain and the overflow and the pipe. And uh, I have to cut the pipe to the correct height and whatnot. So yeah, we just have to uh, install the, uh, the pipe and uh, we'll have a uh, working bathtub with, with a shower. Of course, we won't be using the shower until we get some uh, wall in there and stuff. Well, you know, I might cheat. I might just go get some uh, heavy poly and put it up around the inside just so I can have a shower tonight. Screw it. <laughs> but that would be cheating. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's get to it. Feeling good today. Things are going fast. Better keep it up until something goes wrong. <laughs> okay. So I've moved the support part up. 3 eighths of an inch uh, was a tiny bit too low but now I've moved it up and it's all nice and level so now I'm going to uh, install the plumbing we'll get this out on there believe it or not this foam thing it says to leave on on the instructions yeah weird eh anyway alright later alright so I've Cut all the pieces of pipe to the right size, dry fitted them, dry fitted them a few times just to make sure. Now we're ready to cement it together. Yay! Well, it's all uh, glued in place, all uh, beautiful looking. Hey, why don't you have a look? Look, it's a pipe. It goes the. That's the uh, overflow all the way down here, and this goes down to the drain. But wait, there's more. This is the drain that comes down, and it goes down to the main. Isn't that exciting? You're desperate for entertainment. So the uh, dry fit went rather well, uh, except for one problem with the. Uh, I said earlier that the tub was about half an inch narrower than the other ones, so I had to uh, cut a hole in the floor slightly wider than the one that was there already. So only about, I made it uh, about three quarters of an inch wider, big whoopee. Uh, I just want to make sure that there's enough room. I only needed to do half an inch, or technically even less than half an inch, but uh, Better safe than sorry, right? That's what I say anyways. <laughs> do I say that? Yeah, I do now. Okay. Well, there we go. The tub is uh, in its little spot. The anchors are in place. The brace behind the wall. The support is in place. It sits freaking excellent. Um... The only thing left to do is to connect the pipe down below to the drain. I actually have to go pick that piece up because we don't have one. So I need about uh, four and a half, five inches of pipe uh, to connect that. And then we're good to go. We can actually run water in it after that. Uh, I connect the pipe and after the cement dries in about 15 minutes, we can do that. But first, it's off to the local home improvement store. Yeah. Oh yeah, I better follow the manufacturer's specifications and instructions and install this protective cardboard barrier. <laughs> it actually says, cut along and place over bathtub during construction. Well, still got the uh, drywall to do, so it's probably a good idea. Oh, that's better. Oh. Well, that's the tub.
I'm alive! <laughs> so, there you go. The tub's in. It's pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, I know, I'm pretty happy about it. And, uh, I can, like, uh, have a shower. <gasps> Holy smokes, yeah. Think about that. Not that I wasn't bathing already, thank you very much. Anyway, uh, until next time. Later.